Hello everybody, my name is John the Knight and welcome back to Pokemon Gold. Get the cursor out of the way. <laughs> and I just got the HM Strength. I forget, I forget, I was just playing around off screen and I accidentally got it pretty much. But, so I'm sorry I didn't record that part. But, you know, it's whatever. I don't think you guys are going to just yell at me like, oh, Why didn't you show that part? If you have a Krabby, I would trade you for my Voltorb. No, I love my Krabby. I love my HM Krabby too. Alright, I don't think there's anything in these parts actually. Along the way, so there's four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. Well, you're a dick butt. Anyway, let's uh. Yeah, let's just face the trainer, I guess. Or face these trainers. Is there anything in this water? Or like, is there anything I need? No, it doesn't look like there's anything around. What's this way? Is this more nothingness? Yeah. That, 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 that's stupid. That's crappy design. I'm like, there has to be a pathway, because the boobies or whatever they are, are going that way, or the rocks, I think. And, oh my god. That pisses me off to no end. Alright, Pokemon. Crabby, okay. Butterfree is lagging behind, but I'm. I think Butterfree might not be in my final party. Like, what. When, when I really want it. I really want him to be, but. The way I'm building him is not gonna work. So I think right now my party is going to be Tratini, Slowpoke, and Krabby. And I'm going to have to find another Pokemon, I guess. Or I might keep Butterfree. Like, it depends on how everything goes. Oh god, that didn't do that much damage at all. And there's a Growl. Oh boy. This might get a little bit tougher. Wow, Growl reduces so much, apparently. Like, in the higher levels, it's just too much to deal with. Like, I'm sorry for bashing on Growl. Like, apparently it's just, it's completely and utterly awesome. There we go. And that was it. Go back to Batman's cave, Alfred. You don't belong in a lighthouse. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Polywag. I stomp on polywags. Get it? Because I, I cause I Fuck you guys. Stomp. Did a lot. I'm not sure if it does more than Vice Grip or not. Ooh, 64 attack. Like, the attacks just keep going higher and higher, and it makes me happier and happier. Oh, hi, Polyworld. Yep, you, uh. You watered. You watered a crab a little bit. Good job. Yeah. Just douse my crabby in water. God, I'm loving my crabby. Critical! Come on! Stop doing that! It's I I think I one time in this whole series a critical was like the max damage, like it was the first attack. Oh, oh well, it happens. Like you can't you can't expect critical hits to happen when you want them to. I wonder, can Krabby wear Rock Throw in this game? Cause that'd be pretty cool if he can. I mean like by TM, like is it like a TM or anything like that? Like he needs some uh, elemental moves. All he has is normal uh, Vice Grip. I mean the only Pokemon he can't really deal with is Rocks and Ghost Pokemon. 
with this set. And I th I, ground types aren't. Um, they don't resist physical attacks that much. Wow, Krabby! Krabby! You're just taking out birds left and right. It's a good thing we're in a lighthouse, they can't escape me very well. I'm trying to think, like, if I wanted to replace my Butterfree, what would I replace him with? And I'm trying to think what it would be. Like, I could try leveling up Widowmaker, but I don't think I want to do that. Ooh, come on, man. Come on. Come on! Is infestation in this game? I have no idea. I haven't played this game in so long. Like, I don't remember, like, all the TMs and all the other stuff. I know there's Waterfall and Whirlpool, I think. Yeah, I'm concerned for that Pokemon, man. Moreover, I just want to continue with the story. <laughs> I traveled the world to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. Oh, okay. I also have my Pokemon Y up. Like, I was taking a break between, like, the second video that's going to be... The previous episode, I took a little break with my, po with my Pokemon Y. Because sometimes I like uh, teaming up with a computer ally and using my Blissey and healing them and seeing how far they can get. And sometimes they don't get very far because they're really bad. <laughs> but it's whatever. Ooh, Krabby, level 25. Krabby's just dominating through the ranks. Yeah, I want to switch. Krabby has done enough leveling. As much as I love Krabby, he can't be the star of the show. Let's go, let's send out Ender of the Worlds here. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't stupefy a Slowpoke anymore. It's super effective. It's super effective. Apparently Slowpoke is faster than Growlithe, which is weird. You think of, think of... A dog would be faster than a slow poke, which his whole purpose is to be slow. Okay. I need to switch up my party before So Krabby, you're doing you're doing awesome work. I also want to see something. Moves. So Stomp is more powerful than Vice Grip, and Stomp also can cause flinching. So that's good to know. I needed to know that. God damn it. I didn't mean to look at the stats again. Switch. I just don't know how to build Butterfree right now. Butterfree... Uh... Butterfree is just such a weird Pokemon right now for me to handle. I think like when he learns Psychic, I'm going to do Sleep, Nightmare, Psychic, and not Poison Powder and Confusion, which I have right now. Ooh. Ooh! Sleep Powder, Miss... Oh boy. Oh that didn't do that didn't do shit for dicks. What? Butterfree! You're busting my balls, Butterfree! You're grabbing them by my testicles! Ah, oh, you're busting my balls! <laughs> oh god. That could be dangerous. Oh okay, never mind. There you go, Butterfree! I think I might actually end up have to poison confuse. If he wakes up from this. Because that... I took too many turns just trying to get this set up. 
Like, I'm, I love doing these kind of things. Status effects, and they just can't do anything while you slowly kill them with other things. Like, I don't mind that at all. It's just that right now I don't have any attacks. I can do that? I'm liking this even more than I thought I would. Yep, let's do Confuse and Poison. And see how well that looks gonna do. Wow! <laughs> this must be very annoying. Ooh. Oh, I'm faster, so it's not gonna... Okay. Confused. Tail Whip. And it fails, and now you're hurt with Poison. This is the kind of thing I want to do. But like poison, poison doesn't prevent them from doing anything, which is the problem. Ooh, ooh, you had that up your sleeve this entire time? What I, what I want to do is do like burn and confuse. Well no, that, that kind of counteracts stuff, because if burn is afflicted, that's half physical damage, and half physical damage means Confused won't hit as much. Can I? I wish there was an option to just do nothing. Like, you don't have to do anything. I should just use Poison Powder. Yeah! <laughs> that's so stupid how that works. I mean, uh, Butterfree's okay, right now, now that I. So it's, I didn't know Super Sonic can work through sleep. That was something I wish I knew. Is there anything down here? Why are you looking the other way? See, now Krabby's a prime target for Confused. Let's see if Sleep Powder hits. Yep, okay. Let's do Sleep Powder. Keep him asleep for a little bit. And let's Nightmare him. So now he's going to take damage for every time he- for every turn he's asleep. And it's always 4th HP, no matter what. It's guaranteed 4th. Not Supersonic. Did it affect him? That's okay. So if he does wake up, Confuse hits, Confuse will hit him to, will activate. So this is actually a pretty cool thing. But unfortunately I didn't get the Confuse off. Does he not have Vice Grip? Like what? Come on Butterfree! Ugh. Come on Butterfree, you can do it. There we go. It's unfortunate that these status effects take so much to just activate. Okay, he's not gonna damage me that much. A poison powder didn't affect him, but at least he's confused. Oh! Go to sleep. I don't want to deal with that. I was like, why is he not using vice grip? So it's confused? So it's confused? Isn't he still confused? Man. This is what a combo. Not only are you confused, but you're having nightmares. He's already confused. That's so cool. But unfortunately, he has not hit a single confuse. Oh my god. Okay, he's dead. Unless confuse hits. Finally! Almost kills him, too. Ah. It's confused no more, and Bubble's gonna finish me off. Which is why I... Which is why I don't think Butterfree's gonna be that helpful. But at the same time, I had insanely bad luck. Like, insane. Ah, uh, why did I thunder? Am I stupid or something? Twister. Oh my god. 
And Best Butterfree is taking a bunch of time in my recording, too. Because this is me trying to just stall kill them. Or trying to be safe about it. So since Krabby has very crappy special defense, Thunder is going to instantly kill him. If it hits! My Krabby hasn't learned Bubble Beam yet. Like, where are they getting all these moves? Like, th what was it? There was a move in the previous episode. I can't think what it was. Oh, Body Slam on Slowpoke. Where, where's my Body Slam? Like, what the hell? Well, that's Sailor Kent defeated. I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to think of like, what to do with Butterfree right now. Ugh. Like I wish I had Giga Drain, but it's not, it's not happening. I think Butterfree's useful if, if um, I get in a really tight spot. Butterfree's really fast. Wow, my hair is like acting really weird. Oh god. Uh, I hate it when it does that. Okay, that's better. Um, confuse? I don't know what special defense it has. Or what defense it has. Either or, I don't know. Cool. That's a thing. Boom. I still wish, like I said this at a really long time ago in the, in the series, I wish Confusion, only Confusion, deals more damage if the target is confused. I feel like that would be a really cool thing to have. Ooh, Pharaoh. Ah, you're just tickling me. You're tickling. Ooh, tickle! Ooh. Okay. I'm also trying to be like really concentrated now. I'm also not as hyped up as before. And come on. No confuse yet. I think Slowpoke's gonna win the race. In the end of the day. Cause he's doing very min- oh. Oh, how much damage was that? To 12? So... Oh! Uh, oh! Ho, ho, ho. Slow poke! Ender of Worlds is back! Destroyer of Dreams! And now let's switch... To Dratini. Because Dratini is like the only person that's not like incredibly low in health. I need to go back to a Pokemon Center. I've been getting really greedy. I didn't mean to press spacebar. Like, I did not even... It was an accidental push. Like, it wasn't like... I was trying to skip through it. I accidentally pushed it on my keyboard. As I was trying to press A. And boom. Spar Sparrow is dead. It, well, not dead. Fainted. Pokemon never die in this game, right? Alright, um... Wasn't that like the final trainer? Or something like that? Anyway, I'll be right back. Pokemon Center. Back, and I'm pretty sure I just have to fall through this hole. Yeah. Poor me. Powers mm. of Grass type. Powers of Poison type. I'll give Quick Claw to... Butterfree. There we go. Butterfree needs to go first a lot. Oh, I need to face this guy. What? He only triggers one step away? Really? Really? Oh well, I mean, it happens. Sailor Terrell sent out Poliwhirl. I said no more free sleep powder, that bitch. 
So now all I like the combo is sleep. I accidentally pressed sleep powder. The one time I didn't want to go first. Okay, now go back to sleep, Polly World. You need to go nappy nap. Nightmare. And then the. Uh, for some reason, it preserves confusion while he's sleeping. Like, it preserves it. Like, it stalls out the turns of confusion until he wakes up. Which is really weird. There we go. That's half. Well, it's pretty close to half. I did not know that you could do this. It's very interesting that you can just confuse them while they're asleep. So even if they wake up, they have a chance to get hit by confusion, and you can put them back to sleep, which is hilarious. <laughs> There's like so many effects going on. Like I probably should have just poisoned them and that would have been GG. But I, this is why I want to get Giga Drain or some other move on Butterfree. And I'm not sure Butterfree can learn Dream Eater. Because I have a Butterfree on my Game Boy Y that has Dream Eater. And I love, I love that Butterfree to death. Unfortunately, Butterfree can't learn Nightmare in that gen. You can only learn it in this gen. Okay, beat him, so we go up here, and there's that one, this trainer right here. I was gonna just skip him and be like, I'm just gonna get to that Pokeball, then I'm gonna face him, but instead he found me, so it's whatever. It's whatever. Look at him, he's so big and strong and handsome. Machop. Good thing Butterfree is unaffected by fighting moves. So sleep! Go to sleep, Machop. And since they're... They're probably going to be mostly physical. I don't think there are special power fighting moves, are there? Well, anyway, going to nightmare him. God, I'm giving all these Pokemon like the most horrible things you could think of. Not only am I confusing you, but I'm putting you to sleep and confusing you. My Butterfree is literally just nightmare incarnate. Which is why if I could get a Butterfree on Gen 5 with Nightmare, Dream Eater, Sleep Powder, and, like, Roost or something like that. So let's, let's redo the combo. Because he woke up on the first turn. There we go. Nightmare and a Butterfree! And now let's confuse it. Wow. This is so awesome. There's not much they can do about this, except like full restore or something, but Jesus, look at this. One force damage every turn. Then if they wake up, they have a chance to hit themselves for their attack value. This is amazing. <laughs> now, I just need an offensive move for Poison Powder, and I would love this set. Right now, Poison Powder is not doing jack for me. Oh, I didn't hit himself. But I get low kicked. I could flinch. Nope. Didn't flinch. And then fall asleep. And look, look, he's, he doesn't get out of confusion. It saves the, the confusion until he wakes up. It's amazing. I didn't know this was a thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> Since I, I love psychology, like I... I was studying psychology in college, and this is fucking... This is like the most psychological butterfree in the history of everything. <laughs> First I give you nightmares, then I confuse you until you wake up. Is that... Okay, it's probably a world. Okay, so... Sleep? Aw, oh, come on. I want to see this happen! I want to see it happen! Sleep! It's, it pleases me to torment these Pokemon right now. <laughs> and I know that sounds really horrible. But it says, oh, nightmare. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I instantly... I'm loving Butterfree since I discovered Super Sonic actually affects through sleep. I didn't think it would, but it does. Ah, you woke up on the first turn. 
sleep. Go to sleep. Stop water gunning me and go to sleep. I'm trying to give you nightmares. And this is an 85% chance to hit, by the way, for sleep powder. Nightmare is 100%. It doesn't miss, as long as they're asleep. So it will miss if they're not asleep. So it does miss, I'm just saying it doesn't miss if you use it right. And supersonic. Didn't affect poly world. Okay. Two more turns of sleep and he's dead. And now if he wakes up, he has a chance to hit himself. Yeah, there we go. That's so awesome just to see. I'm just gonna poison powder him. I don't want him to... S he doesn't need to sleep anymore. There's no point in me doing the combo at this level of health. I think... Mm, I guess... I actually kind of want to keep this set. Like, it said, instead of poison powder, keep toxic. And confusion can ruin. Nah, not win one. Like, put in toxic. Toxic deals damage the more they, they stay in. And if I confuse them first... Yeah, do the combo. Do sleep, then... Nightmare if I cho choose. Confused, then toxic. I, I think that would be good. This Butterfreeze is full of nightmares right now. Although it's taking up a lot of time. And I keep saying that, but it just is. It's just, ugh. It takes a lot of time to set up, and then if it does get set up, there's usually it fails. But that's one turn of nightmare. Supersonic. Ooh, didn't hit. Supersonic has a really low chance to hit. I don't know if there's another confuse, uh, another move that confuses like 100% that Butterfree can learn. Ugh. I wish I could increase the chance somehow. Doesn't look like he's going to survive much longer. <laughs> and yeah, now he's definitely going to have trouble. I would be so frustrated to be this Pokemon trainer. This Butterfree is just to swoop the team by making them go to sleep, confusing them while they're sleeping, and then poisoning them every now and then. Oh my god. I have a new respect for Butterfree now. Butterfree is the most annoying Pokemon right now for me. Alright, now. Now I'm done with the lighthouse. Now I get to do the sit up our island. Yes, I've done this part already. <coughs> this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cinderwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't empty. I can't leave empty <laughs> unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Poor boy. His breathing is terribly labored. So sad. Let's quickly look through- oh, yep, there's a Pokeball thing there that I can't carry, probably. I found a Hyper Potion earlier, but I couldn't carry it. Super Potion. Let's, uh, dump something. Toss. I don't ever use X Defense and X Attacks. I know I should, but I don't. There's no reason for me to have it. Well, there is reasons to have them. I just don't use those reasons. I prefer to face everyone in like the, the same leveling field. Only with, with restore items is okay because you know other trainers use them. Man, I don't want to end the episode here because most of it is just be with Butterfree and trying to supersonic them. It's me just having a blast. I'm gonna get to Cinnabar Island and then that's gonna be the ending point. Alright guys, I'll, I'll compromise. This is the third out of the six episodes I have to do for, for like the single day. Butterfree is just so, so evil. Wow, those Pokeballs were very misshapen. Alright, now I have Surf. 
I have Rock Smash. I do where do I get whirlpool and all that jazz? Don't you, don't you have a chance chance to get a chuckle? Hyper potion's like right here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I wanted to get the hyper potion back, cause cause in case I find more. Although you can't see from here, Cinnawood is across the sea. Wow. Unfortunately, my eyes, my sight can't see all cross seas. Let's see what my Pokemon. That's right. 23, 24, 25. 25. Ooh, oh, I can count. Except for bottom, I can go 26 to 6, 10. Anyway, I wish I had a special attacker, but I don't. All I have is status, status them to death, and more statusing them to death. Tentacool versus Butterfur versus Butterfur. Go to sleep, Tentacool. God, this. I need to stop doing this combo, but Butterfree needs to level up. Yeah, one turn of sleep. It's always a good start to the combo. Okay, not a, not a, not the best start, but two turns of sleep is pretty good. That's half his health gone. Super Sonic still not hitting. Three fourths of his health are gone. So the next, if he sleeps for one more turn, he's dead. And now if he wakes up, he has a chance to hit himself. Alright, he's dead. I'm pretty sure. I hope he is. Really? It does 1-4. How? Come on, hit yourself. There we go. Thanks for saving me time, Tentacruel. You're the true MVP of this game right now. Tentacruel. Whoops. Okay, cool. I can't poison him anyway. That's right. He's a poison type. Ooh, don't poison me though. Fucking dicks. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. So now he's asleep, and I'm poisoned. I think I have a poison berry or something like that in my bag. Ugh. Butterfree, you're probably gonna have to get out of there. You haven't done a single damage to him yet. I do have super and hyper potions. I, I think I can take one more poison hit. Hopefully. Okay, I can. Okay, pack. I have to... I'm gambling to see if he sleeps another turn. Yep. Dead. That's what I get. For not healing him. I was just gambling to see if, uh... He would survive. Well, JT would be able to take it out pretty well. Not with Twister. <laughs> I don't know why I picked Twister. Okay, Thunder! There we go. Wow! Of course it's a critical. A critical super effective hit is always fun to see. Because it does so much. Okay, uncle! 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 Okay, gotta go heal my Pokemon. Be right back. Alright, and we're back and we're facing this trainer right away. I'm sorry, sometimes I don't remember if I'm recording or not. 
Swimmer Paula, so now star you. Okay, let's put star you to sleep. As we always do. Fast asleep. Fight. Let's do nightmare. Then the nightmare is going to do one fourth, or apparently not. It's probably close to one fourth. It does ma it does percentage health damage, which is what I like about it. So now, if Saryu even wakes up, it's going to get hit by poison. I mean, probably going to hit itself. Want to try poison powder? Like if it wakes up, I'm probably just going to poison it. I swear, it's supposed to do one force damage. That doesn't look like one force, does it? Because it hit four times. Now it's hit for a fifth time. It's a one hit KO combo right there. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. It, it was pretty much just one hit. It was... In one combo, it died, pretty much. Wow, well, I wish I had a shell, dude. I, I love most water Pokemon. Waters and dragons are the, one, are the ones I like the most. I don't know why, I just do. Of course. Just wanted to try it out. Oh my god. He could be three fourths down out right now. Instead, I decided to go the supersonic route. Just because I wanted to confuse him. Would have been almost dead by now. There's no point in the. Uh... Wow! I would have one, one killed him if I didn't go supersonic. Now he's waking up. I thought it was just ma minimum, maximum three. That shelter has slept through the apocalypse. That doesn't help. Trust me. It just saddens me. He, that shelter should have just died right there if I used nightmare. Wasted opportunity. Cause look at that, it just wakes up. Ooh, no, oh boy. Hmm. Okay, it didn't do that much. But it can freeze me, I think. Oh my god. Butterfree, you're killing me. You're here. Come on! At least hit yourself! Oh my god. This is getting more and more frustrating. And confusion is preserved for the next turn. That's just so cool. This is like the fourth time I set this up. Oh my god. There we go. This just pisses me off that Shelter will it should have fainted if I didn't just be greedy and use supersonic like that. I was guessing to see if he would wake up immediately. And now the one time I'm trying to use Nightmare, he's waking up immediately. It's already confused. He can't get any more confused. Apparently there's some trick with Nightmare, that even if they're not sleeping, Nightmare will still go off. And I need to look up what that is. Now if he wakes up, I don't care. Hopefully he just hits himself. And he doesn't! Jesus! I have not gotten one hit on the confusion yet. And he has waken up three times. 
There's this poison. You're dead. You, you even you even went through a full confusion state without hitting yourself. Yo, a roar beam lowers your attack. That's it. Oh. All right. That's enough of Butterfree. I need to go back and heal him up, and then I need to go level up my other. We're back. By the way. <laughs> Dang, I I was in a press space bar. I'm so sorry. I do I press space bar when I'm when I'm saying be right back so I can quickly go through the game. I'm just gonna run away. I need to get Butterfree out of that first spot. Slowpoke needs a little love. Okay, let's face this. I'm trying to face as many trainers as I can, because that'll, you know, XP gain. Oh my god, this episode's going on for almost an hour. I didn't want it to be just the tower. Oh. Fusion. Bite my tail! Bite my tail! That was a critical... You should be ashamed. You should know that I am not very good at special defense. But I'm really good at defense. Just like you. You're the same way, Shelder. Most Shell Pokemon are really spe not good at special defense. So it's why Krabby's not good. Really good. If, it, if it looks like it's more defensive, it probably is. Tentacool, I have no idea. Yeah, don't you dare poison me. I'll... Wreck your world. I wonder what the chance of confusion is to hit. Or like confusion wise. If it's higher than 65, I mean I hope it I wish it was. Is there a Pokemon that doesn't get affected by psychic attacks? Cause I really want Butterfree to learn a psychic move in some way. And I was about to use Tentacool instead of Cruel. I mean, I swear to God, I—it's bugging me even right now. That rival way back then withdrew Haunter, and I've never seen that in this game where the NPC would withdraw. I just never seen it, so it's just bugging me that it, that it happened. And now, now, now I see. Like I know, I know this was a thing where they would, they would start with their weak Pokemon, then their strongest Pokemon they send out because they don't think, because they think that's the best choice, and that's fine. I don't mind they do that. It's just weird. It's just I never seen them withdraw to their best Pokemon like uh, the rival did way back then. Yikes! I got a prune skin! That's cool. I mean, prune skin is nothing bad. Okay, these are the islands, right? Like those separate islands that they were talking about. Tentacool! Huh? How dare you poison sting? Oh, I probably should- Ah, I thought this was a trainer battle. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm only halfway through. Can't escape. Okay, I'm gonna fight it out. I have to. Stop! Stop it! Leave me alone! Leave Slowpoke alone! Oh, I'm so confused. God damn it, Slowpoke. You are not gonna die on my watch. You hear me? I'm giving you a 50 HP chance to kill this tentacle. And you're poisoned. Great. He did the combo with basic attacks better than I did. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> this is really frustrating on the other side of it. It really is. I'm getting a taste of what my Butterfree does. And we're back. We're at the island. Unfortunately, my Slowpoke fainted because he could not run away from any tentacles or cruels. Let's heal up. And that's gonna be the end of the episode. Like, nothing really happened when I cut it out. It was just... Tentacles and tentacruels popping up trying to destroy my Pokemon. And it so happens Slowpoke fainted, but that's okay. And Slowpoke's gonna do work in this fighting gym. I might I might go off screen and just level him up a little bit. I want, do I really want Shuckle? Uh, I'm in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after him for a while? No. <laughs> no. Damn it! Just deposit flash real quick. Alright! I'm gonna get the shuckle! I'm pretty sure it's shuckle. Yep, yeah, it's shuckle. Shuckle's one of my favorite Pokemon too. He's bug, he's rock. What more could you want? <laughs> his, look at his defenses and special defense, and everything else sucks dick. <laughs> oh my god. I love Shuckle, but man, holy, holy balls. And so, especially since he's a rock, like, he, physical attacks won't affect him that much either. Alright, now let's go to the Pokemon. Eh. I'm gonna end the episode right here, for, for real this time, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye! Everyone, this Two, is John the Knight. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this is John the Knight. This is John the Knight. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, with my I friend. Thought you were counting down until you wanted me to start counting down. What? <laughs> I don't know! It doesn't even make you sense. Never really, you never really explained it! Are you happy well, now? Three, two, <laughs> one. Hello, my name is John and I and welcome to Rocket League with my friend. Three, two, <laughs> one. Shut the PK. fuck up. <laughs>